Hello everyone, welcome to News Extra. And there's a new program in Scottsbluff Elementary Schools meant to reinforce positive attitudes and behavior among children. And today my guest is Jeremy Banky, the principal at Lake Minotaur Elementary School. Thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome, thank you for having me. Um, this program is called Be Your Best. Be Your Best. I explain how Be Your Best works. Be Your Best is an awesome opportunity for us as administrators, teachers, and staff to recognize students who will go above and beyond. Um, District-wide, we really talk about being safe, being respectful, and being responsible. And it's meant for those kiddos that um, consistently show that behavior um, throughout the school year. Okay. Uh, it's been really neat so far as elementary principals and preschool um, administrator. Um, we have been able to have really thoughtful conversations about how these kids are being recognized and the importance of really making sure that the students understand we really appreciate what you're doing because you set such a great model uh, for the rest of the students in our schools. Okay, so how are the kids recognized then when, when these, when these um, attitudes and, and uh, behaviors are, are exhibited? It's really neat. I, I guess there's a, a variety of different ways they can be recognized. Uh, many of the schools have morning meetings and so the, the teacher writes up what they noticed um, from that student and we, we try to make sure that we have the award ready, we have the little B that they, they have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that they can be recognized with. It can go on their backpack, it can go on a shirt that they wanted to go on. It's almost like an iron-on uh, Velcro B mm -hmm. um, that they can, they can put on a variety of different things. And so we it's a teacher writes up what they noticed um, the student comes up and is recognized in front of the school. Um, and then the, the really cool thing is I've been able to, and many of the other principals as well, have been able to make a personal phone call home to the parent. Mm -hmm. And that's been really neat. Parents have just been uh, very grateful to hear from a principal um, that something really well is going, really good is going on with, with their students. I can imagine that uh, generally when they get a phone call from a principal, usually <laughs> they're, they're, they're probably like, uh-oh, what, uh, what has my child done now? Uh, but in this case, it's good news. Yeah, it's been quite the opposite. The response from parents and staff has been uh, just fantastic. The other day when I called home a parent um, to a parent, they, they said, can you send home the little snippet that you just read to me? And I said, absolutely. And so they're owning it and, and also want to make sure they're recognizing their children for what's going on at school. And of course there's a, a little bit more to be your best as implemented by the Scottsville Public Schools in the elementaries and preschool as you yes, have mentioned. Absolutely. And we'll be back on News Extra in just a moment to talk to you about that. And welcome back everyone and my guest today is Jeremy Benke, the principal for Lake Minotaur Elementary School in the Scottsbluff Public School System. We're talking about Be Your Best, a new program meant to help reinforce positive attitudes and behaviors among children in elementary and preschool grades. Again, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. What do the kids say when they get recognized this way? You know, some, there's a variety of responses from students. The last one that was handed out, um, the, the young man is so humble that it was just uh, I really don't want to be in front of everyone um, <laughs> rec receiving this award. But at the end of the day, um, his mom's response and his um, decision to put the bee on his backpack shows that it really meant a lot to him. He just would prefer to do what he's supposed to do during the course of the day and not be recognized for it. <laughs> and, and quite frankly, that's, that's why this award, award's so important because there's so many of those kids in our schools that do those things on a daily basis that we really want to recognize because they're such great role models for the other students. And I was going to say, uh, they provide an example for those other students who you know, may or may not uh, be exhibiting those behaviors on a daily basis. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, the, of course, the, the B, it's a, like an embroidered sticker. It is, um, yep, that, exactly. Now, if, if a child is awarded this honor, <clears throat> one time, are they actually eligible for it again during the school year or is it limited to just once a year? No, they, they can receive the B as many times as we see fit, um, okay. which, which is a neat thing. And we, we want to continue to recognize those behaviors and obviously we want as many kids as possible to receive it, but we, we also want it to be an award that really is exhibiting the behaviors that we see that go above and beyond that are consistent on a daily basis. And I understand the uh, genesis of this program actually came from uh, um, a couple of um, conferences, perhaps, that uh, Superintendent Rick Miles was, was Absolutely. part of. 
Yep. Uh, explain the genesis of it. So when he went to a conference um, <clears throat> out of town, and at this conference they had these little bees, and he just thought that they were really neat. Um, was trying to think how they how we could implement them in our school. Um, after he came back from the conference, he talked to some of us about if we were interested in the bees. We said yes, and he then. As, as that wrapped up, he went and talked to our 3E community and they were more than willing to be a part of um, providing these bees for us. And so all of the elementary plus the preschool have the bees and um, we have a certain amount depending on the population in our school. And so we have plenty to hand out and, and looking forward to being able to hand out as many as we can. Well, and I'm sure the hope is that you actually run out and need to have more Absolutely. before the end of the school year. Yeah. That'd be great. It'd be great for all of us. We'd be we'd be bursting with joy. So that'd be awesome. That's the Be Your Best program that is uh, underway at the Scottsbluff Public Schools at the elementary and the preschool. Um, something that um, you don't necessarily have to tell your kids about. You want them to come about these things naturally. Absolutely. Um, but but certainly something for parents to keep an ear and an eye out for if they happen to get a phone call. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> Jeremy, thank you very yeah, much for joining you. us on News Extra. Today. I appreciate it.